So immunocompromised, unfortunately that, that word means a lot of things, right? So immunocompromised could be all the way to somebody who just had, you know, a hematopoietic stem cell transplant and you've maybe wiped out their entire cell line, right? All the way to somebody who's taking uh, corticosteroids and, and they're taking various doses, maybe, you know, over 20 milligrams, under 20 milligrams. They're taking oral chemotherapy, 6-MP, azathioprine, you know, there's a wide range. I think what pharmacists could do to help educate them uh, or educate themselves on this area is to look at the 2013 Infectious Diseases Society of America statement on immunocompromise and vaccine administration. And in fact, the CDC is very likely going to adopt most of their recommendations that will come into the general recommendations that help pharmacists categorize into high risk and low risk. I think the bottom line with immunocompromise, it's complicated. And this is a really good time to involve the primary care provider. So if you have somebody with HIV, cancer, chemotherapy, on medication, whether it be biologics or traditional you know, oral chemotherapy, that puts them at risk, that you communicate with their internist or family medicine person to make sure this is the right vaccine for them. All the same uh, contraindications we talk about still stand in place, so no live vaccines for immunocompromised patients. But where it gets complicated, right, is that there are exceptions to every rule. Right? So for MMR, for example, if you know their CD4 count and it's over 200, you might be giving the MMR vaccine. So bottom line is it's complicated and you need to talk with their physician. Doesn't mean you can't give the vaccine, just means you need to be in collaboration.